This baked chicken broccoli alfredo recipe is the perfect easy weeknight meal. And to make it extra tasty, add lots of cheese. Joining me now in this kitchen segment, sponsored by Cash Valley, is Amanda Scarlatti with Scarlatti Family Kitchen. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. We're so excited to have you. Yeah. You run a food blog. I do. Yep. Scarlatti Family Kitchen is my food blog. And I've had it for about six years. Um, I do kind of Italian inspired comfort food recipes that are perfect for your family, whether it's weeknight meals, holiday meals, that sort of thing. Oh, so. you know your stuff. Then yeah. this is the perfect recipe <laughs> for you perfect. to cover. Yeah. I was so excited when I saw that this was in the kitchen and I said, please put me in because my <laughs> kids are picky eaters. Oh, but this is good for this. Alfredo then. is yeah. a favorite at our house. Is this one pretty simple to make? Yeah, this one is pretty simple to make. I went ahead and made this homemade, but of course, if you don't feel comfortable making it homemade, you can go ahead and grab some jarred sauce. And I always tell people that if you want to do a jarred sauce, but you want to zhuzh it up a little bit, when you're cooking your pasta, take some of that pasta water, mix it into the sauce and let it simmer and that will add a lot of flavor, plus it helps it stick to the pasta. Oh, so I didn't even know that tip. Go. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna learn a lot from yeah. you already, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kids' favorite is definitely Alfredo. It's a huge favorite in my house as well with my kids. And this is super quick and easy to put together. And I don't know about you, but now is like, soccer, gymnastics, fall activities. So having a dish that's really wholesome, good, homemade, that I can put together for my kids really easily is key. I get you, so, I feel you on that 100%. Yeah. Okay, so we're what doing do we this, do? We're doing this with Cache Valley Creamery Cheese. We're using their mozzarella cheese today, which I have shredded. Um, first we have a baking pan that I have just greased with a little bit of non-cooked non-stick cooking spray. Um, you can use butter, but just something so it doesn't stick. And then we have some penne pasta that I have cooked. Now the last few minutes of cooking it, I've just thrown in some fresh bro broccoli in there and that helps cook it, flavor it, and then you don't have as many pots and pans, which is always a win. We like that too. Yeah. So we are just gonna go ahead and add this into the dish. And um, the penne pasta, do you yeah. ever mix up the noodles? You can definitely do other noodles. Um, I like the tubular type pasta, so you could use rigatoni. Um, being from Chicago, we used to use mastacholi all the time. Um, ziti would also work for that as well. Oh, I like them all. I like yep. everything you're saying. So, yep, you got all of the, the pasta and the broccoli in here. And then I have some rotisserie chicken that I just shredded here. And rotisserie chickens are always one of my favorite kitchen shortcuts. If you want to make your own chicken and shred it, that's fine. Um, the rotisserie just makes it easier. It also beefs it up, so it's a little bit more hearty having the meat in there too. Um, I do the same thing. I love to grab it already done. Again, you're just saving yourself that step. Exactly, exactly. So then we're gonna go ahead and add in this Alfredo sauce that I've made here. Delicious. Just pour as much as your heart desires on there, <laughs> honestly. We measure with love. Absolutely, we measure with our heart. absolutely. And then um, we're gonna add two different kinds of cheese. So we have the mozzarella cheese here from Cash Valley. Again, I have uh, freshly shredded this. And again, feel free to measure with your heart on this oh, one Oh, we well like all because, the cheese. There's no know. limit if you ask me. <laughs> and I have to say, I learned about Cash Valley from my years being here on yeah. the show. It is honestly all of our favorite. It's the best type of cheese, it's honestly. It's so good. It is, and I I just moved here about six years ago, and so as soon as I found this, I was like, oh, this is my cheese. Like, this is what I'm gonna use, because they use really high quality dairy products when they're making their cheese, as well as their butter, and it comes through. You could, it comes through in the flavor, as well as your cooking. It melts really easily, so it's a great option for that. Once you use it, you won't go back. Exactly. You'll have a new favorite. Exactly. So then we're gonna also add in some Parmesan cheese in here a little bit, and then all you're gonna do is just mix this up. So you wanna kinda coat the Alfredo all over the chicken, the broccoli, mix all that cheese in there and make sure it's all combined. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in the oven and bake it for about 15 minutes. And all you're looking is to kinda heat it through and then also melt that mozzarella cheese in there and make it nice and melty. Now, if you're a little extra, like I am sometimes, you can put some extra cheese on top of here. Cache Valley also has this Italian blend of cheese that would be really great to put on here. And then you're just gonna bake it, like I said, about 15 minutes. You want it to be melty. I like to get it a little bit golden brown on top. I'm one of the crispy edges girls, so. I am too. <laughs> All right, let's serve up a yep. little bit so we can taste it yeah, as we absolutely. head into break. 15 minutes later, this is what it looks like. Yep. Oh, my mouth's been watering 
morning since we started the segment and I've just been eyeballing this over there. And even though it's really quick to put together, you could even put this together in the morning. Have it in the fridge, take it out at dinner have it time, for dinner. bake it, and you're all set to go. It's perfect. We will yeah. link to everything. You will have that recipe on our website. Hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Thank oh, you so much. Job. I appreciate it. Thank you again to Cash Valley Creamery for sponsoring this interview.